Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Peekum Funfan97, and I'm so glad to be back again. Um, I've just been waiting for this monitor, this really sexy monitor that I've been waiting so long to um, to use so I can make more uh, YouTube videos because I have a bigger screen, okay? I have more viewing space that I can work with, okay? Since I do use Photoshop quite a bit. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to replace a sky um, in Photoshop. Okay, so this is um, after. So this is pretty much before and after. So you can see not a lot of has changed, but um, I'll show you how to do exactly that. Now you can use any any picture you want as long as 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 long as there's a sky uh, and as long, and that you have a sky. Wow, I can't talk today. Sorry. But let's go and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer. So we're at our beginning. So you're gonna have a picture of a sky or some sort. You wanna, you also want a sky that kind of makes sense. So I kind of went overboard and chose this because it kind of looks, I don't know, it looks cool. So I, I went with this uh, sky picture and I'm gonna put it as our background. All right. So to do this, first press Command I or Control A if you're, I mean Command A if you're on a Mac and control A if you're on a PC. So, you know, if you hear some weird shortcuts, then that's probably why, because I'm on a Mac, of course, if you haven't noticed already. Or you can go to edit and copy, and go over to your picture here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And go over to edit and paste, and paste the image here. Now I'm gonna have to zoom out so I can, um, I don't want my rulers. Okay, so I'm gonna, so what you wanna do here is you want to have your picture um, you can see that the sky kind of stops in between right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in between just like this um, So I'm gonna go like this like right here So if your picture was like up here and your sky was up here You would obviously put it in between like right here So wherever the sky kind of limits off or what it ends. So I'm gonna put it right here Like so All right, and press command enter or control enter um, or press the check mark, I believe. Yep, here we go. All right, so now once you are at this stage, it's really easy to work with. Now, blending the uh, both pictures is uh, quite easy and hard at the same time, but there's no there's no no problem. What we're gonna have to do first is we're gonna have to make sure we have our sky selected, of course, the one we've dragged in, and we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to create a layer mask. Okay, so click this right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to make this black so that we can hide whatever is here, which is in this case our sky. So press Command I, and that will get rid of it, so it'll be black. Once we have done that, make sure that you have your um, your what do you call it? The layer mask, this one we created, selected. And what we want to do is you want to go ahead and go over to the uh, go to image or sorry, select and go to color range. And once you're here, you're gonna have be prompt with this window, color range, where it says select, make sure that's it, sampled colors, make sure your localized colors clusters is unchecked. Uh, you can check it if you want, but it just adds more, uh, you can change or adjust the range selection. Make sure that this is at selection, not an image, or else you can't really see what you're doing. So what you wanna do is here is you wanna select a wider part, in this case our, um, or picture right here and we're gonna go ahead and select white so if, if I were to do this right here hold on I think I did this wrong all right select this uh, your actual image so it should be the one that's hidden and go over to select and then go to color range so this should be our uh, sky now sorry my bad um, so it should look like this okay so whatever is here which is our actual image you will see that it's gonna be white, and that's what's gonna be selected, okay? So go where there is more white. Okay, right here is perfect. And right where it says fuzziness, you wanna increase or decrease, depending whether, uh, how much is needed. So if I go too much, you can see that it's gonna kinda of select this. We don't want to do that. So go in between where this stays, more, where, it, where it goes more white and where it goes more black, okay? So I'm gonna increase it just right here, about 93. And then click OK. So now that made a selection. Now we want to go ahead and do is we want to, whoops. Um, all right, so once we have done that, we're going to go over to select, modify, and go to feather. 
We want to feather this to two pixels. You can do three, four, but I think two is good enough. Click OK. Once you have done that, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go over to your gradient tool, which is right here, or press G on your keyboard, and we're going to start uh, coloring in. But you can notice that nothing really appears. Well, that's because you're not on the layer. So press Command Z until we get rid of this. Okay, so select this and then start um, uh, dragging. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. So if I were to click and drag, uh, you can see my skies start pouring in. Um, so the longer the the longer you drag it, um, the more uh, I don't know how to explain it, but pretty much it, it fills it in. Okay. Um, now, this has to make kind of sense, because if I were to leave it like this, this kind of like sky is coming in, then it kind of goes off into the horizon. We don't want to do that, especially right here. This is the worst spot. So I'm going to do it on this side. So on this side, like this. So I'm going to go like that. I think this is, uh, um, I think this is good enough. So once you have done that, press Command D. But you can see that if you zoom in, let me zoom in using the space I'm holding down the space and clicking and dragging. You will see that it's kind of included. You can see that it's not as great. We have some blue stuff in here. Uh, we can fix that. You can see that there's a line here as well. So we're going to fix that. To fix that, go over to your brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard or going over to the um, little tools panel. Right clicking and clicking brush tool. Uh, change the size to whatever you like. Uh, I'm using the left and right bracket keys. I'm really, I'm a short guy. I'm, I'm a shortcut person. <laughs> I am a short guy though. But um, yeah, a shortcut is, I'm a, sh I'm a shortcut guy. So I like to use a lot of shortcuts in Photoshop. So you want to go ahead and paint with black. And what black will pretty much do is will hide it. But you want to be careful when you do this because if you're not on the right layer or the right selection, you're going to really mess it up. So if I were to start doing this or start to kind of, take it off or if I select the wrong one you're actually gonna start to remove the actual selections you want to do that make sure you're the one on this one right here all right so now start uh, like brushing in to parts where you want to fix it all right so you can see let me zoom in right to where the line was so here is the line and I'm gonna take it off see bam magic huh so you know do whatever you'd like um, this will really come in handy if you come upon like people or if someone's standing there this will really work so again go whoops I went too far if you went too far if you accidentally go like this I gotta do is switch the colors to white and this will paint it back in I know crazy but if you paint it in you can see it actually paints it with white um, this really depends on what you're coloring with it kind of looks like white but in reality it's not because you can see that this is the actual sky that we painted so that's pretty good so that means it's working so I'm gonna go in like this this is a pretty pretty big brush so I don't want to do that so this looks fine to me like that and then I'm gonna switch the colors so now it looks more realistic like this I don't know um, so you can see that I went a little too far on the edges and that's okay you can just go like this and then we'll take it off just don't go too far like this or else it's gonna look it's gonna look fake so don't make it too noticeable or too obvious. So I think this is pretty much uh, like good enough for now. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to actually change the sky, all you gotta do is you wanna go over to the, uh, you wanna create a, whoops, no, I don't wanna do that. You wanna go and create a curves. Um, you can, whoops, not that, my bad. Um, hold on, I forgot, I forgot how to do it, I'll be back. In just a second. Never mind. I guess um, there is a way, but I just don't remember. Um, now you can see that the image it looks great, but it looks fake. Um, well, that's because it's too bright on this side, and on this side it's kind of like dark. So I can easily fix that by going over to the opacity and decreasing it just like this. Um, you can do this as much as you want. I don't really care, but um, just keep it to a reasonable reasonable amount where it doesn't look too fake or too real, or not too fake or too. Um, fake pretty much so I think this um, pretty much clears how to change the sky in Photoshop uh, you can do this whatever be unique be creative and um, yeah so if you guys have any questions regarding this video please please leave a like or please comment in the comment section leave a like because that shows me some appreciation and I'll see you guys on my next video oh and 
a uh, quick tip. Um, I believe by the beginning of May first, I'm gonna start uploading a gaming, uh, gaming, gaming content from um from my PS3 GTA 5. So if you guys wanna tell me in the comments if you guys want a, a gaming channel so I can start one, or I just mix it in with my all of my uh, or just with my channel, my current channel right now. So if you guys want that, please comment, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.